This is The Process Shot. I'm Michael, I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Forbidden Planet, a science fiction film from Fred M. Wilcox, made back in 1956. Set a few centuries from now, the film concerns the commander and crew of a starship sent to find an expedition to a distant planet from 20 years before. A survivor warns them of danger should they land, but they do so anyway, finding only that survivor, his daughter, and their robot servant. Learning of the expedition's fate, the crew try to convince the scientists to come back with them, but issues arise when the surviving scientist refuses to go back. Initially citing a great amount of research which could potentially change humankind, but soon pivoting to a new topic, an unseen force which lives on the planet as well, bent on destroying anything and anybody. The story here is actually pretty entertaining, with its rather straightforward manner and simple design. Admittedly, a lot of it is flat, with little in the way of a deeper subtext or character study or even an allegory or two. But I think anything like that would have just come through with a bit of hokiness or underdevelopment, at least considering how the actual story and subplots are treated. Again, it's pretty simple, more focused on following formulas and genre conventions than doing anything more creative. For example, a romantic subplot with a love triangle is given substantial introduction, then gets resolved almost completely off-screen. Similarly, they're sometimes set aside to explain some of the film's science or technology, seemingly for the sake of answering questions nobody was asking. It's not too distracting, but it does take up time which could have been better spent elsewhere. Still, what we do get is pretty imaginative especially in Forbidden Planet's technical elements and special effects. The film's overall production brings a definite sense of reality into environments, from the vastness of exterior landscapes on the planet to the smaller interiors filled with details that keep your eyes moving about. Cinematography helps with that, making good use of the widescreen frame to better showcase foreground and background elements adding to the overall sense of scale as well. The film's art and color choices are also pretty well laid out, giving many elements a futuristic sense of design and function, no matter what their actual purpose may be. What I do think the most attention was put towards, though, are the film's special effects and soundtrack. The effects are very impressive for their time, from footprints of the invisible enemy being made in the sand, to a walking, talking robot that can carry literal tons of metal with ease, and though they may not be perfect at all times, they're still rather believable within the moment. The soundtrack is also a rather great work, with synthetic instrumentation that removes the film and its settings from any contemporary ideas and replants them in a distant future. Overall, while Forbidden Planet may be a product of its time, it does have a timelessness to its production design, and although the story may not be perfect, it also doesn't need to be to get its central ideas across. Basically, this movie is likely best looked at as a framework for later science fiction works of a similar space travel vein, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if it were indeed a strong influence on those later stories. Forbidden Planet, Fred M. Wilcox, 1956. Three and a half stars. I'd say that it's worth giving a watch. Anyways, that's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you've got something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I gotta get my own robot servant around here. 
or at least somebody to talk to.